Okay, I'm going to do a third t third take on this one, and then if this doesn't go, that's it, and nobody will ever see it. Um, I, I want to start out, actually, by talking about uh, SBSK, uh, Special Books for Special Kids. And this has been a thing that's been going around, and thankfully, Phil DeFranco brought attention to this. Um, and And that may speed things up to being resolved, but it doesn't sound like they're going to be. So uh, I want to I want to discuss this part first. Recently, YouTube disabled comments on tens of millions of videos featuring minors as part of an increasingly aggressive crackdown on child predation. Uh, YouTube CEO Susan, I'm not even going to try her last name, uh, said the mass disabling was a trade-off for creators who'd spent who'd have to deal with it if they wanted YouTube to be safer for kids. Um, but Chris Ulmer and his partner Alyssa, who run the Disability Advocacy, Advocacy Nonprofit Special Books by Special Kids, SBSK for short, and its associated YouTube channel say the recent disabling of comments on their channel is discriminatory. YouTube's put in place discriminatory new actions to disable every single comment section on all of our videos. Um, I say that word discriminatory knowing the implications of it, and I mean it 100%. The reason this is discriminatory is because they're doing it under the guise of protecting children from predators, but they're only selecting certain channels. And they're 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 pointing out that some channels get hit and some don't. Uh, this this is unfortunately kind of what happens. Uh, copyrights, all of this. I think part of it is um, I I do think bigger creators get more. I'm not going to say perks. Uh, but bigger creators, I think, get more leeway with things than smaller ones, the ones with the big money behind them. Um, that being said, they have 1.2 million um, subscribers themselves, and they get 10 million views a month. So that's a pretty big channel. And if that one's getting hit, then yeah. Now, uh, the last video that was on this channel uh, featured my stepdaughter, and uh, she she wanted to do it. She uh, her and Her and Yvonne went to see... Dumbo I didn't go see it and therefore they wanted to do a review and I thought yeah all right but I, the funny thing is I I knew this in the background at the same time I thought geez you know that that could that could be an issue and there's videos where stuff gets demonetized too and I thought well you know we'll we'll throw it up there and of course with the kids I've had videos of them playing hockey dating back what three years this was this the, this just completed the third year the kids have played hockey that I've done videos on it. So, you know, and I never monetized any of those videos. But, you know, so it's 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 kind of strange to me and this is where we're in an age where sharenting is becoming a word. So, in the age of social media, we share everything. So, look what my kid did, look what my kid did, look what my kid did, and even though people are like, I don't care about your kid, I want it out of my news feed, we still keep sharing everything. Well, those kids now are turning 18, 19, getting jobs, and when you search by their name, those pictures may very well come up. Or if you're friends with these kids and you know their their parent, you know, oh, look at all these embarrassing pictures from when you're a little kid. So there's, there's some questions being asked about whether or not uh, parents should be doing that. Now, it's weird. Because the idea that as a parent you shouldn't be taking pictures of your kids. You shouldn't be sharing pictures of your kids. The kids, some of them are like, okay, it's fine. My parents did that. That's totally understandable. And there are some that are saying, wait a minute. There's pictures of me that exist online, which means they are there forever. And uh, I'm, I'm embarrassed by them or I'm not happy about it or I don't approve. And you never have my permission. And that's that's a line that kids use and I'm kind of like I don't know like I know for instance uh when my my ex and I went through uh our breakup and there were pictures that that she had of of our of our kids on her profile and I I thought you know I I, I have to block her because when you break up with somebody you just block them it's just what you do and uh you know it's part of that whole moving on thing so you know, I before I blocked her, I, I there were pictures of my son and my daughter that I said, you know, I, I should have those on my profile so that they're there. And I did. And um, my daughter comes up to me a few days later and she's like, Dad, you saved, you, you posted these pictures of us. I'm not happy about those pictures. Can you take them down? I hate those pictures. So, uh, and it was a specific set of those pictures. And I said, yeah. And I took them down immediately and, and I got rid of them. Um, so I, I, I totally understand and I'm totally fine with taking pictures down. But we're in that we're in that age now where it feels like 
Okay, so you've got some bad people out there. And there were five bad people that downvoted that other video. Um, you can't downvote a video where a six-year-old's talking about going to see Dumbo. What the heck's wrong with this world? Anyways, um, I'm, and I'm only partly being facetious in that. Like, it's it's weird to me. You know, I, I can't imagine walking up to a little kid and going, Yeah, you think you're cute, idiot. I just, I can't, I, I can't understand that. And it's not like we told her, okay, now it's your turn. She wanted to do it because she is right next to the set. She goes to sleep listening to me doing reviews of, of hockey games and movies and this kind of thing. So she lives with this, this, this idea of being a YouTuber, she thinks is, is, is just a normal, natural thing. Um, that, that it's, it's just as much of a job opportunity as any other, which I've had to explain to people, you know, there's, there's a lot of luck involved too. Uh, it's, and it's, it's, yeah. Anyhow, um, it, it is, it is a, a, a strange world we live in. Like there's a day that could come where she's 14, 15, 16, that video, that, that Dumbo review shows up and she comes to me and goes, um, can you take that down? That's kind of embarrassing. I did that. I really wish I hadn't done that. And, uh, my friend saw it. It's kind of going around school. Can you, can you delete it? You know, it's going around my group of friends. Can you, can you get rid of it? Now, of course, the trick is when you've got something uploaded, people will make copies. But, you know, you do the best you can. It's just weird that with this situation with YouTube, what they're essentially doing is saying there are some evil people online. There are some horrible people online. So what we've decided to do is we're going to punish everybody because there might be some horrible people. Now, SBSK says in this article they have had no instances None where they've seen predatory comments in the comment section. And here's here's the bad thing. Here's here's the worst part of all of it. Um, there's arsonists in every city. You don't see people on the news going, these buildings are highly susceptible to arson. Arsonists might go, oh, I never thought of that. So what they're doing is they're saying all of these channels are highly susceptible. And for somebody who's not quite right in the head, they might go, gee, I never thought of that. Wow, that's 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 a really good yeah, okay. So you know it's <laughs> I've even seen it on the news where um, and I, I've there have been times where I'm yelling at the news where they'll get these these counter terrorism experts right and they'll say okay what horrible thing could happen well they could do this and this and this and if they did this and this and I'm like wait can you guys stop they have cable too stop giving them ideas what are you doing. So, the, to me, there's some of that going on here, too. They are, attention was brought to them through the media. Uh, the, the users guilty of said comments should have been punished. Um, I, I would go as far as to say they could have been reported to the authorities regarding these comments. Uh, there are ways of, now, you know, people say, well, YouTube's completely anonymous. Yes and no. Uh, if, if, if YouTube needs to track somebody down, there are IP addresses they have that they know that they don't hand out to those of us in the public, obviously. But there are ways to track. And I know there's VPNs and all that other stuff, but there are ways to track. And um, with those with those tools at their disposal, there would be ways to say, you know what, there are some horrible people on here. So, you know, we're just going to um, get rid of them. It'd be sort of like, you know, if you had kids, kids are having a play and there's going to be a big Q&A after and somebody comes up and goes, there's a really creepy guy in the crowd that's looking at the kids kind of weird and you go, well, we'll just get rid of the Q&A then. So he can just sit here and watch the kids for the next hour, but we'll just cut out the Q&A. And I might be oversimplifying it, probably am, but part of what makes YouTube uh, entertaining and interesting is the comment section. Yes, it can be a cesspool. But if you've got enough filters set up, and I know on, on both of my channels, I have a ton of filters set up um, because I am a firm believer that not only is hockey for everyone, but the internet's for everyone. And and this shouldn't be a, 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 a this shouldn't be a place where we exclude people. Uh, YouTube, the idea of it when the, in the beginning was that we create the, the content and then it is distributed through YouTube servers and and there's a benefit to creating a community and i like the communities that have been created through both of my channels so um 
you know, it, it generally speaking, I, I, I get why uh, YouTube's kind of gone this route. And at the same time, I shouldn't as a parent be telling my kids if they say, hey, can I do a video? Uh, you know, if it's on this channel, sure. You guys want to review a movie? Go for it. Um, I know there's been times where we've watched movies and Vaughn said, you know, we should have all the kids in the review. And I'm like, I, I can't, we can't have them squabbling. We can't have the kids fighting with each other in a review. I'd be fighting over who was in front of the camera. There'd be fighting over who gets to talk next. There'd be a lot of talking over each other. It, it would be a disaster. But if it was one kid, sure. And in this case, it was. And I thought it was cute. And at this point, there's still comments enabled on it. I find it strange, too, that, that YouTube's saying that if a majority of your content involves children, you'll get your comments disabled. So once in a while is okay. It's really weird. <laughs> it's really, really weird. That's really strange. But again, it's because there are millions of channels. This channel on Social Blade, last time I looked, ranked the 1.5 millionth around that area. And as bad as that sounds... There's over 3 million channels that are counted there. And those are channels that all have videos. And so channels that don't have videos aren't included in that. So it is it is a lot of content. I wouldn't want to have to police it myself. But the problem with filters that, that are so sweeping and massive, and when you've got millions of videos being demonetized, it just sucks for those creators. Uh, and, and it's not just comment sections being, being removed. There are videos that discuss this subject that are are being demonetized as well so it's now some in some cases they've been remonetized but it, it it's yeah and then there's the copyright thing which i'm not even going to get into today but there you go um so you know this this video was kind of inspired by the sbsk thing and then by just a couple of nasty comments somebody left for anybody who's arguing with them in the comment section don't worry he's gone um that's just that's not helpful um because I'm, I'm not sure that I even understood the comment that he made that was immediately held for review. Um, but I, I went through the comment section and went, oh, okay, so he's he was picking a fight here too. So, all right, we're done. We're done. That's it. He was one of the five people that disliked the video. Yeah, you want to dislike the video, I guess that's fine. But it, it's just, again, for, for, for my stepdaughter, when she's older, you know, we can show her that video and she can go, wait, people disliked me? Really? Yeah, yeah, there was a handful, sweetie, that thought that you were you were a horrible person. I deleted the comments, but yeah, they're, they're awful. <laughs> they don't think she's a horrible person, but that's how she'll take it. All right, so let me know how you guys feel on this subject, because I know it's a slippery slope. And I think where it started was the family of five videos. I think that's where all of this really gets started with YouTube. I think there was the, they're the daddy of five where... Uh, there were issues definitely going on in those videos that that should never, ever have been monetized. That was just no. That there was a that was that all their videos were just giant no's. Don't no. Don't do that. Um, and now we're here, where the creators who are doing nice things and and good things for people are are the ones that ultimately are seeing um, probably a drop in their a drop in their numbers until this came out publicly. Uh, it'll help them, but again, it's only temporary, and then the media finds something else to look at, and people find something else to look at, and then they're still left with the disabled comment section, which will negatively impact their channel. All right, let me know your thoughts as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.